Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sophia and I'm a Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Edmonton, Canada. And today I'm going to be unboxing the November Paper Pumpkin Kit, which is called From the North Pole. And I really have a good time unboxing these, so I'm excited to do it. Um, so just in case you don't know, Paper, paper Pumpkin is a paper crafting slash card making kit by Stampin' Up! It gets delivered to your door every month. It has everything you need to, con to uh, create the paper crafts or cards inside. Usually it comes with about nine, I want to say, or eight. Um, this time they um, sent all of the supplies to make some tags. So that's what we're going to be doing today. So if you don't have paper pumpkin and you want to have a paper crafting kit delivered to your door like by subscription every month go ahead and subscribe with the link below um it is $32.50 a month and that includes delivery to your door and that's canadian pricing so if you're in canada looking for a demonstrator or you want to sign up for paper pumpkin just pop into that link below and go ahead Okay, with that, we're gonna go ahead and get started and unbox this kit, okay? So, all right. So it's called From the North Pole and it's supposed to coordinate with last month's kit. So if you got that, then um, yeah, you can go ahead and mix and match and do different things. So I'm just gonna set this off to the side. The first thing it came with is a Cherry Cobbler Stampin' Spot. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and put that over there. That's cool, because I don't have a Stampin' Spot in that color. Um, it comes with this really nice stamp set. I really love this. I think I've seen this before in like a different um, Christmas stamp set, but I didn't have it, so I'm kinda happy. I really like the, the candy cane, I love this. Um, from Santa, Merry Christmas, very cute, very, very nice for creating tags. So that's the stamp set. It came with this, I want to say this is either mint macaron or soft sea foam um, twine, which is very nice. I like having twine. Um, and then here it shows you how you can coordinate it with last month's kit to like make a card or something. And then it also tells you that next month there's going to be gift card holders in the paper pumpkin kit. So if you're interested in having some gift cards, um, gift card holders, sorry, um, you can do that. And then if you want to change, change them up and turn them into cards, you could do the add-on and get these um, envelopes and cards as well. So that looks like it'll be a good kit too. Let's just put that over there. Okay, and of course it came with some um, glue dots and dimensionals, which we will need. And then it came with some different tag styles here. I like the Holly Jolly, that's really cute. And some die cut pieces. So we've got the Santa's hat, some circles. I'm guessing this is gonna be stamped into there. And they've also got some candy canes and some ho 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 tags. I, I, I did take some of them out because I'm gonna go ahead and craft the three tags with you today. These are really pretty. It's like a sparkly paper and um, the banners are already cut out here for a tag. So I think that's really pretty. Sorry, I'm not feeling great. So I might be sniffling a little bit in this video. Um, and then these look like they go under it. So it's just the matching tags for that. Um, and then we've got some uh, banner pieces where I think we're going to be stamping our greetings. We've got some iridescent snowflakes. Always nice to have on hand. 
and some really pretty sparkly snowflakes, which again, I just really like this color. I wonder what color it is. Usually it says, let's pull it out. Yes. So here's the little instruction manual. It gives you some alternate ideas back here. So if you want to use your kit to use to make some different things, it gives you some ideas there. And then this is just a little instruction booklet. And it also has a little ruler at the bottom in case you don't have one and you need to measure. So it'll tell you how to make all of the tags on here. And these are the tags that we're going to be making. Pretty, right? So with that, I'm going to go ahead and get started, clear off my space, and get started on the first tag. All right, guys, so here I am. I'm back, and we are going to start making tag number one. Now, if you wanted to, you could always turn these into cards. So you could make the tag as it is and then just glue it onto a white card base. And if you wanted to make it a little bit fancier, like add some designer series paper or something like that, you totally could. So this is gonna go over here. And what I've done is I've replaced my um, little stamp and spot with my ink pad, cause it's open and I wanna save this one. So I'm gonna put that off to the side and just use my, my regular cherry cobbler ink pad. Now, just so you know, cherry cobbler is a staining color and so when you use it, it's gonna stain up your photopolymer stamp, but that doesn't damage your stamp or anything like that. It just, um, it just has that color on it. So the first thing we're gonna do is stamp the ho-ho-ho on top of this ho-ho-ho. And I'm sorry if you see my hair here in the middle, um, but you wanna go directly on top and stamp. And what that does is it gives it a little bit of an outline around the crumb cake there, which is actually kind of cool. So I have my stamp cleaner here and I'm just going to use that to clean that off. So see, it does leave a little bit of a stain, but there's nothing left on the stamp. So you're good. And then the next thing we're gonna do is stamp this one that says from Santa. And this is gonna go on this tag right here. So we'll just go ahead and ink that up and I'm just gonna stamp it cause I've never stamped it before. And then do it on here. So just right in the middle, perfect. And I'll clean that off. There. Okay, put my cherry cobbler. Close that up because I don't want to get ink all over my hands. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is take this little hat. And I'm going to flip it over. I'm going to bring this down over here. And this little greeting that says happy holidays, this was already pre die cut. I'm just going to flip that over and we're going to put some glue dots on here. So we're going to take Santa's hat and put it on top of this ho ho ho. So, just like that, cute, and this, just gonna take the glue dot off, or the backing of the glue dot, and this is going to peek out like this, just like that. And then the happy holidays, I'm gonna take those off. And these are going to go on just over here, like this. Okay, so that is what's gonna kinda go on top of there like that. 
All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is bring over this, and I'm just gonna flip this guy over and put some glue dots on there too. So I'm gonna put one in the middle and one, mm, let's see, kind of just right there, I think. That works good. And we're gonna remove those. Like that. And put it onto the tag just like this. And then I'm going to flip this guy over and we're going to bring in our dimensionals. I already have an open pack of dimensionals, so I'm just going to use that. Okay, and then this is going to go on right over here like that. Okay, and then we're going to grab our little bow or our twine and you need about 12 inches of that. So that's like the size of this basically. Cut it and the way I like to do my tag bows is to bring my twine together like this and then put it through the hole from the back okay and then bring it through the loop and then all you have to do is tie your bow so we're just going to bring it down like this, tie a nice bow, just like that. And then you can make it as big or small as you want. I'm going to bring my little tails to the front and then just, there you go, there's your tag. Isn't that so cute and pretty? I love it. Okay, so I am gonna clean up this space and bring in tag number two. All right, so here we go. We are going to start tag number two. And um, this time I'm using the stamp that says no peeking, okay? And what we're gonna do, I think this is really the only thing we have to stamp, is you're gonna take the little tag with the green tail there and just stamp the no peeking on there. And I'm just gonna test stamp it. And then it's gonna go closer to this part. So I'm just gonna put it right Cute. Okay, so next what we're gonna do is grab our, this piece that says Holly Jolly, and we're gonna put some glue dots on here. So I'm just gonna grab my glue dots, and if you wanna make it easier for yourself, you can use tape runner as well but I'm just gonna use up all these glue dots that I have sitting around, okay? So, move those backings. And then make sure you pop the little hole out of this tag and line this up right on top of that hole. So just like this. So now you have a two layer tag there. And then what we're gonna do is grab our um, candy cane 
and put a couple of glue dots on there. So put one right there and one right here. It doesn't help that I just cut my nails. Okay, and this is going to go on here. So kind of just like that. And then for the little greeting, it says for you, this came pre die cut as well. You're just gonna stick a couple of dimensionals on there. So one and two. Again, easiest way to do it is just to push in the middle and then pop the backing off. All right, and this is gonna go on here like that. Okay, then what's next? We're gonna turn over this entire piece and put some dimensionals on it. All right, and then this is gonna go right on here, like that. And this is gonna line up here with the twine. So we're just gonna again cut 12 inches, you actually don't need it to be that long, but that's what they're recommending here. So let's do it that way. You're gonna bring your twine and I'm just gonna give it a little lick before I stick it in. Okay, so that way I know I have both pieces. Make sure they're not twisting too much. And then just bring it down like that. And then we'll tie our bow. So there. Okay, make sure you bring your tail to the front. Oh, I'm having issues because I don't have any nails. Okay, I'm gonna tighten this just a little bit. And then just go ahead and pull. Okay, so there is our second tag. Pretty, right? And again, you could always take this, glue it on top of a card, and use it as a card if that's what you wanted to do. Okay, so I'm just going to bring in the stuff for the third tag, and then we'll be done. All right, guys, so here I am. I have the other two displayed up here for you, and we're going to go ahead and make this last one. So you're going to grab that big reindeer stamp that you got and you're going to ink it up and you know what this is definitely going to be a good one to test stamp a couple of times to make sure that it's inking up properly another way to do larger stamps is to just turn it upside down and that helps you get a better stamped image so I'm just gonna go ahead and center this it doesn't matter which way you're stamping because it's a circle oh, I love it look at how nice that looks okay so I'll just put that off to the side okay next thing we're gonna do is Grab your green sparkly piece and this piece, and we're going to put some glue dots on there. I'm sorry, I'm just going to close my ink pad so it doesn't dry up. Okay. 
Okay, so once you've got your glue dots off, you're gonna go ahead and line it up with your white tag, the circle, and stick it down. It doesn't have to be perfectly even, just in case you're wondering. Then you're gonna take this green piece and line it up with the top, and then just glue that down as well. So this is the base of the tag. I don't know if you can see this, but it's very sparkly. Try to turn up the brightness a bit. Very pretty. Okay, next thing you're going to do is grab your big circle that you made and put some dimensionals on there. And then this guy is going to come right in the middle here of your tag. Oh, I love this one. I think this is my favorite one. And then you're going to take your iridescent snowflakes and make sure you have the, the side that's not shiny coming down. And on the not shiny side, you're going to stick on some glue dots. All right, and then once you've removed those, you're gonna stick one up here, one just off to the side there, and one down here. Okay, and then again, the last thing is gonna be the twine. So get yourself a 12 inch piece. Make sure you straighten it up properly. Bring the ends together. Now it doesn't actually tell you that this is how you're supposed to do it, but this is just how I do it. Okay, stick it into the tag. You could just make a bow and glue it there if you wanted to do that as well. Okay, and then make your bow. easier to hold it up but I know that that's not ideal for the video oh come on okay okay it's a pretty big bowl so we'll just fix it up a little really big okay so there we go let's bring this side a little bit more out there okay so there are our three tags and they give you enough supplies to make um, nine of these right so three of each design and again, if you don't want to use it for tags or you have too many tags, then you can just take them and glue them down onto a card. Okay, well, I hope you've enjoyed walk watching the unboxing of this video. If you have any questions for me, just pop them in the comments below and I will respond. Thanks for watching. Have a great weekend. Bye.